In a small town, there lived a man named Maji who had a family to support and an unpleasant job that barely made ends meet. He was married to a woman named Mamta, but their relationship was far from ordinary. The demands of their daily lives left them with little free time to spend quality moments together. What was even more unusual was that even after years of marriage, Maji had never touched his wife's hand. In earlier times, Maji's family had owned a thriving sewing business. However, their fortunes took a downturn, leading to financial difficulties. Consequently, Maji and his family had to settle for a shabby house, a stark contrast to their once prosperous life. Each morning, Maji would pedal his old bicycle to work, but his brother, Jignu, had taken a different path. Jigna married a wealthy woman and enjoyed a prosperous life, far removed from Maji's daily struggles. Maji worked in a small shop that sold sewing tools, but his boss consistently underestimated his abilities. He felt unappreciated and undervalued at work. One day, Maji and his family received an invitation to the wedding of their boss's son. Mamta hesitated to attend because her dress no longer fit her properly. Upon hearing this, Maji, who possessed remarkable sewing skills, took the initiative to make a new dress for his wife. At the wedding, Maji and his family were treated as outsiders by their boss's family. The stark contrast was evident when they attempted to take a photograph with the boss's family but were harshly rejected. They were even instructed to serve the guests and engage in demeaning acts to amuse the attendees. The humiliation at the wedding deeply saddened Mamta and Maji's family, and it pained their hearts. Upon returning home, Mamta expressed her desire for Maji to leave his job and revive their sewing business with his remarkable talent. However, Maji hesitated, fearing another financial downfall. The following day, Maji had another frustrating encounter with his boss at work due to the boss's condescending attitude. Frustration got the better of Maji, and he created a scene. It was at this moment he decided to quit his job. Maji returned home and informed his family of his decision. Mamta was thrilled with her husband's decision, but financial difficulties still loomed. His father had just retired and their economic situation had become increasingly precarious. As Mamta prepared food, Maji's mother suffered a heart attack while working in the kitchen. They rushed her to the hospital where the doctor informed them of the urgent need for heart surgery. The hospital required an initial payment. Upon hearing this, Maji went on a frantic search for money to cover the hospital bills. Mamta, a resourceful woman, came up with a solution that could open a small business on the side of the road without incurring high expenses. Maji followed her advice and set up a sewing station on the roadside. On the first day of his new venture, Mamta secretly brought lunch for him. The small act of kindness moved Maji to tears, marking the first time they had ever shared a meal together. Maji's life took another unexpected turn when he received news of his mother's health deteriorating. He immediately rushed to the hospital to be by her side. His mother pleaded with him to return to his old job, but Mamta opposed the idea, continuing to support her husband's newfound business. However, his brother tried to intervene and secure a job for Maji at a factory outside the city. Maji declined the offer as he couldn't bear to leave his parents. When Maji saw his mother struggling to put on a sari in the hospital, he and Mamta decided to sew warm clothes for her upcoming surgery. Previously, his mother had used patchwork, but this time they created a new type of clothing they named Maxi Dress. When his mother wore it at the hospital, many people expressed interest in ordering these Maxi Dresses and were willing to pay in advance. This spurred them to work tirelessly on fulfilling these orders, working day and night with immense dedication. Maji's success in creating and selling Maxi Dresses allowed them to cover the initial hospital bills. Yet, further expenses remained. Maji and Mamta reached out to Maji's brother-in-law named Gudu who managed to negotiate with the hospital. They struck a deal wherein the hospital would purchase Maji's creations through the factory where Gudu worked, named Prediction. The next day, Maji visited the Prediction factory with samples of his maxi dresses and secured an order for 2,000 pieces within three days at a reasonable price. However, this newfound success came with unforeseen challenges as Gudu's intentions began to appear less than sincere. Financial struggles deepened, compelling Maji and Mamta to continue working at the factory. Despite their relentless efforts, the factory made them use other labels and paid them meager wages. Maji was infuriated and he decided to quit the factory, fueled by his pride and determination to pursue his dream. Gudu, upset with Maji's decision, confronted him at home. 
A heated argument ensued, leading to Maji receiving a slap from Gudu. This incident left their family in a state of shock and silence. Mamta implored Maji to apologize to Gudu to mend the family's strained relationships, but Maji's refusal indicated his frustration and belief that his wife didn't comprehend his struggle. Maji's father, who had initially disapproved of his son's decision, eventually melted and offered his full support. This support came just in time as Maji was about to embark on realizing his lifelong dream. He decided to give his dream one more chance. Maji's life seemed to be on an upswing. He was excited and expected full support from his family. He asked for one month to pursue his dream, with the understanding that if it didn't work out, he would accept the job suggested by his father. The next day, Maji and Mamta began to invite people in their community to collaborate on creating a collection of clothing. The couple felt a renewed sense of purpose and hope. They borrowed sewing machines from neighbors in exchange for a simple cup of cardamom tea. The day of the fashion competition arrived. Maji and Mamta showcased the clothing they had painstakingly created. At first, they were met with skepticism as they were competing against renowned designers. Their lack of experience in the fashion industry seemed to diminish their chances of success. As the competition progressed, it appeared that they had little hope of winning. Maji's spirits waned and he contemplated returning to his old life. However, Mamta and a few friends convinced him to persevere and complete the competition. While waiting for the bus to leave the competition, one of Maji's friends urged him to return. They had received news that their clothing had been declared the winner, securing funding for their business. Maji and Mamta had triumphed over prediction and were finally on the path to a better life. Despite the odds stacked against them, they had managed to achieve their dream and become celebrated designers on the international stage. This heartwarming story was a testament to the power of determination, hard work, and the unwavering support of a loving partner. Maji and Mamta had overcome adversity and proved that success was possible even in the face of seemingly insurmountable challenges.